guys welcome back to my channel this is bitch with jess and i feel so weird because i usually do not do vlogs or anything like this i wanted to try something different today and kind of do like a not a day in my life but kind of, i'm gonna go grocery shopping i do have to pick up some stuff from um, target i am doing a target pickup because for me it is better for me to just do a pickup and then not go inside the store and spend more money than I have to. So I am doing a Target pickup right now. I do need to go to a couple of grocery stores to kind of uh, get some stuff. So I kind of want to uh, take you guys along with me. I did bring my cash envelopes, like how I'm gonna use them interchangeably. So hopefully I'm not like scared to film inside of the store. I've never done this, so we'll see how this goes. So right now, first up is Target, and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and possibly Costco to get some chicken and some bananas, I think. And then we'll see where we go from there. So let's go ahead and go on with this vlog or whatever this is. So first up, we are at Target and we're just gonna wait for our order. If you guys are nosy like I am, I like to know what people like pick up from Target and like see what they got. This is necessities. Um, I got some, you know, uh, feminine products that I needed. I got a mascara, some, uh, what is it, face wash. I did get these too, and I got it during the Target circle that happened last week. I got this other mascara, and I got this brush, and I think I needed that to, like, spend 40 So I got these, uh, I got these two, whoa, it's not focusing. I got, like, these two, uh, face wash. One is more for dry skin which i feel like what i have right now and i want i just wanted to try these two that were obviously on sale and then um yeah this is what i ended up getting from target like i said i did it through the target red circle that happened this past week and i think i had to spend 40 and you got 10 dollars off so i thought that was a good deal and then obviously like the feminine products that is just uh stuff that i needed i do like the honey pot if you guys haven't tried it for all you people who you know have an ant flow they are very good i do love them uh and yeah so this is what i got from target so now we're gonna go ahead and go to trader joe's so we'll i'll see you guys when i get there okay we're finally at trader joe's we're gonna go in um i just disclaimer before i go in and start shopping for some things i'm gonna try to see what i got i literally came with no plans so we're really just gonna you know yeah there, there is no plan i usually like to write down whatever i'm gonna buy or like close to like what i'm gonna cook but i'm honestly really not craving anything but i do know that i need to get at least some like type of groceries to like eat at home um so i'm gonna go ahead and see what i find and kind of what i what i find so we're really just shopping off of vibes um i know trader joe's is very known for like more like snacks other than like food but i am just shopping for myself like i only really need to feed myself so i not very picky with the food and also it's not like i need to make like these elaborate meals for me to like enjoy so um that's why i also kind of like trader joe's because they do have a lot of pre-packaged stuff which is sometimes not the healthiest but as long as i'm eating right now that is totally okay um so yeah i really don't know what i want i kind of looking for hash browns but i do like them from another grocery store but it sometimes they're really sold out so i don't know if i don't know if i'll just buy them here if they even have them here um maybe some like cherry tomatoes and that's really all i can think of right now off the top of my head once i go in there obviously things will change and hopefully i find more things that i want to eat um I do i think my budget for this week is 120 dollars. i do still need to go to costco to get chicken and bananas so that is another thing that shouldn't be a lot of money though because the chicken's only like four dollars or five dollars so it shouldn't be a lot most of it i'll probably spend it here uh yeah because i just don't know what i want to eat um so yeah right now we're gonna we're gonna be going off of vibes which i usually don't like to do but that's just the plan for today. So let's go inside. So, so far I have potatoes, tomatoes. I got some mushrooms, some chocolate covered pretzels, and just some sirloin steak tips. And I have a calculator here to so kind of like help me estimate how much 
everything is. So I'm right now at 2384. And I'm not very much wanting anything else. I'm gonna walk down the aisles a little bit more to see if I find anything else that I might want to get and see what I want. Um, for the rest of the week, I'm just really not craving much right now, so it's getting a little bit hard to buy anything. So let's keep going. So this is my total so far. I got it some salad and some shrimp that I found. Okay, I feel so dumb. I did not realize that in California, you do not pay taxes on food. I don't know how I did not know that. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> uh, I just got out the store. My total was $43.91. And I got some shrimp. Uh, like I said, some premium, what was it? Some premium choice uh, steak tips. Uh, some salmon, Atlantic something. Pretzels, uh, mushrooms cherry tomatoes and some little red uh potatoes so my total was $43.91 um let's see how much we have left in my um in my food thingy in my groceries thing oh my god I really feel dumb that I did not know that California does not pay uh taxes on food okay let's let me check this is very hard to do with one hand so hold on so I have $76 left, and like I said, I'm still gonna go to Costco to get chicken. Um, I think it would just be the chicken and the bananas that I need to get from there. I don't think I'm gonna spend more than like $15, hopefully not. I don't think I need anything else from there that I really need like in bulk. Um, and then I will go ahead and maybe go to Stater Brothers. I don't know if you guys have a Stater Brothers by your uh neck of the woods but i do and i oh my god that's what i forgot i did not look for the hash browns here it sometimes it gets a little bit too hectic but i will look for the hash browns if i can find them also because i did have my surgery i am advised to like be on a low fat diet so maybe hash browns isn't the best idea oh i might also get some avocados from costco so i should really write that down somewhere Okay, so I'm going to scan those. I'm going to scan my receipt into Fetch Rewards before I forget. And then put it in here just to have it as a reference um, after. But I am liking spending my cash right now. I haven't done that in a while. I have been usually using um, a card. But I wanted to see how I can do it like this. And so far, so good. So now let's go to Costco. Now we're at Costco. I'm excited to go in there and we'll see what we'll find. Well, no, just bananas and chicken. That is all. So let's go. Okay, so for Costco, I ended up spending $43.79. I got two uh, chickens. I got some grapes. I got two things of bananas and I actually wanted some smoked salmon um, because I do like to have that for breakfast and I like it from here. I was going to get it from Trader Joe's because it's a little bit cheaper, but I can, this one comes in a two pack and I can freeze one. You just have to eat it so fast. You have to eat it within like four days after you open it, but I think I will be fine. Hopefully, um, I usually do eat it pretty fast and I just really do like it for breakfast and that's kind of what I craved. Unfortunately for here, I did not use my cash because it was just kind of hectic in there. So I was just like, no, it's it's like, I'll just pay with the card. So it was $43.79 and I pay with my card. So I'm just going to take it out of here right now. We have 40 So we only have $46 and I need 43 Let me... I might have to make some change so I will be okay so I made some change from my buffer that I have in here so I made it out of five so we're gonna do the total what was it it was 40 sorry for the Sun it was 43.79 so we will do 44 just take it out right now we got 44 so that's $44 so I'm gonna put that to the side. I do have a bag, a bag to the bank envelope here. And then now in groceries, we have $32 left. 
So I still am gonna go to one other grocery store and see if I can find my hash browns. If not, that is fine. That's really all I think I'm gonna get from there. And then we will be done. So I did not wanna film at Costco. It felt a little bit weird. I don't know. It's just a lot. I feel like sometimes it's a lot going on, even though I was not busy right now because I think people are still at work and it's like a random Tuesday. But yeah, it just felt a little bit weird. But yes, yeah, so this is gonna go back in here. And then this, uh, it's gonna go into my my misspelling of this one my bake to the bank and then actually right now I'm gonna put a payment for my credit card so I don't forget and I already have the cash in here and I already know so this is just keeping me accountable of what I'm spending and I just like doing this so hopefully this lasts me for the next Oh no, this is for technically last week. So we are fine. Cause I think I'm gonna wait, well, I'm gonna cash stuff again this week. So we are fine. Uh all right. So let's go on to the next okay, so one. So we went to Sarah Brothers. I could not film in there. It was just I, I went in there so fast that I really kind of just kind of slipped my mind by the time I realized it. We were already done. So I spent $20.11. Um, I only I was looking for the hash browns. Again, I could not find them for some reason. I can never find them here. So I ended up getting uh the Dave's what is it killer bread like bagels for the smoked salmon i got some hostess donuts i got some goat milk for my dogs actually and then i got some um what is it cup of noodles top ramen or whatever um it's so hard to find like on walmart.com like to get it uh to pick up it's i think it's getting bad and i can only do it in some stores it's a little bit weird so what was I going to say? Yeah. So I spent $20.11 on here. And I, again, I, by the time I, I did not even look at the prices or whatnot. By the time I realized that I was at the cash register and I, by the, I couldn't get this out. So I just ended up doing Apple pay with like my debit card. So it was 2011. So I'm going to take out $21 out of my envelope here and put them in my bank back to the bank sometimes things like this happen um that's why I, I, you know you can use both or however it goes at trader joe's i had kind of like a good system going because i was going along with the prices and with this one it happened so fast that i just didn't even think to i don't know i don't know by the time i realized it it was already done i had to pay and there was like a long line so it was just like i'm sorry guys i'll, I'll just pay with my card so in total we have left for groceries we have $11 left out of like 120 so that's how much I spent for myself and this was kind of like like I said we were just going off of vibes it was not anything planned or whatnot um I think I have enough food to last me possibly towards next week I am going back to work on this Thursday today is Tuesday so I do need lunch for Thursday and Friday and I think I should have enough to like for dinner and stuff like that if not that's why I have I got the cup of noodles in case like anything I can just eat that so yes I think we are done for today I will actually I am hungry and today is Tuesday so Vanderpump Rules does come out and I it's my own little like self-care therapy thing that I get something to eat and then I just watch it by myself because that's just my self-care so I'm gonna go and do that I'll see where I'm gonna go I have $20 left and eating out so it has to be something under $20 dollars and i think i know what i want um i took my manjaro shot today so i think i'm kind of not really hungry all i've had today to e even eat i guess has been um a protein shake and that is all i have put in my stomach and water so i really do need to get something to eat i'm not hungry but i know i need to eat so i might go and get some chicken tenders so i will take you guys along with me if i end up going there Okay, so I just got home and I un uh, unloaded my stuff. So this is what I basically got for all of the hundred and something dollars, which will last me for um, for a while. Uh, you know, I got my cherry tomatoes, some smoked salmon, which is a two pack. So I will freeze half of it and then use the other half. Like I said, this just needs to be used like within like three or four days that you basically open it. I also got this from Trader Joe's and Atlantic Salmon with Lemon Herb Butter. I really wanted to try it. So I got two of these because these little pieces are kind of small. 
So this is already like one day, two days. I also got, I think I've had this before, the Argentinian red shrimp with ginger garlic butter and some Tugarashi style seasoning. I think I've had this and I think it's really good. If I remember correctly, I got some epic uh, Dave's Killer Bread, uh, uh, everything but the bagel bread for this. I really do like this one with my um, smoked salmon. Uh, I got two things of bananas. This was really more for my mom. She eats more of these bananas. I still had to get some milk chocolate covered mini pretzel. These are so yummy. Um, I got some little red potatoes. I got, uh, what is it? The sirloin steak tips for the little red potatoes. So this will probably last me a while as well. Maybe like, uh, maybe like three meals, I want to say. Yeah. I got some goat milk for my dogs because I haven't got it for them for a while and they really do like it and it's pretty good for them. I also got two things of chicken, which basically some of this is for my dogs. I do give them some of this chicken, obviously not the skin, but this is a treat for them and they do like it. Got some little Hostess donuts because why not? I also got some cup of noodles since I'm going back to work in case I don't want to take a lunch. I at least have this um to get me over and then i got some grapes i love grapes and it's getting hot so i really do love grapes from costco they are literally superior so it's actually not a lot now that i'm looking at it but especially like with the chicken this is gonna last me quite some time the whole week maybe and obviously i still have food here uh you know all of this stuff i have rice here in case i need rice and all of that i just need to kind of like the bigger items so i have kind of a you know an idea of what to eat. I do live in California, so these prices are a little bit steep. I had $120 and I think I have $11 left. So I I was $109 for all of this. Uh, hence, I mean, like this is for my dog. Some of this is for my dog. So, you know, take that into account. But yes, even with these prices, I can still kind of make it work. I could, the $50 that I was doing, I can probably still do that, but I really haven't been grocery shopping. So I really didn't have any like, necess like I didn't really have food here that I'd frozen or anything that I could have ate, but this should help. Um, and it should get me through. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you guys would like more of these videos. I know sometimes like, I'm obviously just shopping, shopping really for myself. So it's hard to like, you know, kind of, uh, what is it like? Oh my God, I can't think of the word. It's on the tip of my tongue. Like, you know, most people shop for like a bigger family. So obviously sometimes this is not really realistic. Uh, most, maybe somebody will go through this in less than a week. <laughs> but for me, it will last me for quite some time. So I'm very excited about that. And yes, yeah, so I said, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you guys would like more videos like this. And I had fun doing it. Hopefully, if I do one again, I will film more in the stores. <laughs> again, um, if you haven't um, liked this video, subscribe, comment down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.